What's up, everybody? Ryan Hennessy here, Real Time Northwest. Just doing a little follow-up vid on the boat wrap. And uh, as you can see, it's parked here, nestled up in its resting place for the time being. As you can also see, I totally ruined my windshield. Look at that. Absolutely ruined. So I'm going to let you guys know that there was a sticker on here, a hummingbird sticker. And I, all I did was just put a little bit of a, uh, actually this is, let me get some of these dots out of the way just so you can kind of see how many bird sticker all I did was peel it off it had some adhesive left over and I used a pretty generic um, adhesive remover you know I, I wouldn't say it's mild it's probably a little bit more aggressive than most but I am not familiar with you know these plastic the plastic windshields you know I, I don't know I don't know what's on it or not but I sprayed it on there and it ruined it and then I tried to, after spraying it, I tried to uh, rub it with some rubbing alcohol to kind of clean it off. And the rubbing alcohol even <laughs> ruined it even more. But this is kind of the overspray of this aggressive, I would have to say it's an aggressive adhesive remover. I also noticed right here on the sides, you'll see here some white little areas. That's some of the aggressive more more than mild uh because i had the skeeter logo here the fxr 21 here or 20 fxr 20 and if you can see right here see these little spots these are all spots from that adhesive remover they will come off i just need to scratch them off um and as you can see it kind of got in here too so uh be mindful of whatever adhesive removers you use Make sure you try it in a discreet area uh, prior to doing so. So beware that some adhesive removers are pretty aggressive and will ruin your shit. So what I'm going to do with this bad boy, since I ruined it, you know, I could just buy a new one. I believe the new ones, the, the windshield itself is like 75 bucks, but then you got to buy this logo, this logo, the other logo. So it comes out being like 150, maybe $200 shipped to get this whole thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to attempt and wrap this. Um, and I'm going to wrap it in the uh, Black Galaxy like I have bought and purchased for the trailer. So as you can see, the trailer is still not done. Um, we didn't have time to do it. I'm going to try and wrap it myself, I think. That's going to be another video. Um, it is pretty, uh, a, it has a lot of contours, so there's going to be a lot of cut lines in it. Um, but all in all, you know, I'm out here today in the boathouse. I'm taking some measurements and I'm going to uh, figure out where I'm going to put my sponsor logos. I have a pretty good idea. Obviously, I've got Real Time Northwest already here on the main, but uh, I think what I'm going to do is probably right in this area. Instead of putting the Skeeter logo back, I'm gonna probably do a uh, an edge rods right here. Um, right up in here, I might just put my name right here. And then uh, probably gonna have Waterland right here, some DD26 stuff, maybe a little Daiwa logo all along the, the rail there. And then, uh, yeah, and that should tidy it up. We'll replicate the same on the other side. Um, and uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna, like I said, they'll see the, the, the windshields will be Black Galaxy just like it is on the boat and will be trailer soon. I also have a replacement, one of these on the way. Um, the step pad, just like right here. So what happened there was my intent was to take these uh, trailer caps off so I can wrap them and wrap the boat without jacking the boat up. But unfortunately, after pulling off this giant step, it is so hard to get underneath here to get to all these bolts. And there are other ones you can't see without pulling tires and everything else. And plus this thing right here took just this step right here, took me two hours to peel that off. 
and the adhesive is still on there. I use the that aggressive heat uh, adhesin, adhesive remover that I ruined my windshield with would not even budge the adhesive on here. So I actually took a flipping dull razor knife and scraped my little heart out and did the best. But you can see there's still stuff all over here. It's ridiculous. So got a new one of those coming in. I'm going to, before installing it, I'm actually going to wrap the fender first and then install it. Um, and as you can see, I still have red seats. Um, I still have red power pole covers, red colleen cover, which is good because a lot of the logos I'm going to put on here are going to be kind of black and red anyway to add some accents. Hey, got a little matching gas cap. So I'm going to add some red accents here and there. I still got my red accents on the front on the trolling motor foot pedal, um, the cables that go to the uh, trolling motor. So I may add, I don't know, I, I think I like the black look so and, and the black and silver look like my logo. But like when I put Little Waterland, Waterland's just going to be in black. Um, I'm not going to do it in red. I mean, I guess I could put it in red, but I think it'll look better in black. The uh, the Edge Rods logo is, is red, pretty bright red, so I'm going to have that kind of popping. Um, just kind of running through the boat and, you know, part of the the wrap I wanted to talk about um, and part of the, the, the difficulties of doing this. Um, I also want to mention to beware of burning your carpet. Now, when you're getting up in here and you know, this is a cut line right here. I use the knifeless tape, got my cut line in here. When you're, when you're, let me get you a little bit away right here. When you're sitting right here and you got your cut line here and you rip it up and you're sitting here, you're going to start uh, using a heat gun to heat it up. You have to beware of this carpet. These bass boat carpets are like the hair in your arms. You barely put any heat to them. It just burns and shrivels. Um, and I noticed, well, before I noticed I was burning the carpet, I noticed that I, someone, myself or someone else had already burned the carpet. And uh, I didn't know it was a burn at first, but as you can see in the picture here, see this right here? That is basically a heat gun that got set down like right here or something and it just went, just burned it. I mean, instantly. Even if it was shut off and set down, it would singe those hairs. And as you can see here as well, see the discoloration right here? That is singed carpet hairs. And I have more of them over there, just like this in all the corners. You can't really notice them on camera. It actually looks a little worse, but um, this just looks like a, some somebody stuck something right there and it folded the carpet over a little bit. But I can tell you what, it singes the carpet quickly. I mean, instantly. So as soon as you set it down, it's gone. It, it is it is roached. So as you can see, get that wrench out of the way. It's gonna bother the shit out of me. It looks like shit. So I might eventually put a sticker here, cover that bad boy up. But uh, you know, you put all the time and money into these boats and, and to singe the carpet in a matter of seconds just, just drives me nuts. So here we go, here's the back. Here's the black galaxy that I have that I'm gonna, this is what I'm gonna use. Um, actually this, this vinyl is called a black galactic. And uh, that's what I'm putting on the trailer. So um, let me get these measurements here for all these decals. Get that figured out first. And then uh, I'll have another video showing me wrapping the, 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 uh, the trailer. Till then, see you later.